Hey everyone, it's Candice with Candy Bees Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do some different napkin ring holders with basically just using an empty paper towel roll or toilet paper, whatever you have, just start saving these up if you wanna do something like this. Basically, I just use the paper towel roll and cut it up for the base of all of my rings. This one I wrapped with some, some scrapbook paper. I used some ribbon and twine and a basic die cut from my Cricut. This one, I did some jute twine and wrapped that around with also some stems from my yard. So that's really basic and simple. I'll show you how to do that as well. This one, I just used some washi tape to wrap my ring with some different fall stems and florals that I got from the Dollar Tree, the craft stores, and just put together a bunch of things that I thought were nice for fall. So there's some different elements there with some raffia and some jute twine. And this one, I basically just used some one and a half inch ribbon, tied a bow, put a little tag on it with some uh, baker's twine that says I'm thankful for. So that will get your guests thinking about what they're grateful for, just a little tag prompt. So those are four different ideas that I have for you. You can make this as intricate or as basic and simple as you want, but these are just some ideas to get the ball rolling and just do something fun for myself and for the guests. Go ahead and like this video, share it with other people that you know would be interested in doing something like this for the Thanksgiving table, and stay tuned for every Thursday when I upload new videos, and let's get into this video. All right, well, here's a closer look of my four different silverware settings. Again, this one is just with twine and a stem from my yard. This one is done with some ribbon, some twine, some scrapbook paper, and a die cut from my Cricut machine. This one's done with one and a half inch ribbon and a little bit of twine, and then I made a tag. And then this one is done with some washi tape and some different fall stems and florals that I just cut up and utilized to make it look really cute and fun and festive. So let's kind of push these ones aside. Let's get started with this one. Basically, we are going to cut an inch and a half for each of my rings. Make a couple dots. And then I'm just gonna smash it flat. Take some heavier duty scissors and then just cut that right up. If you're gonna be using fabric napkins, then this will be good enough. I'm just using paper napkins, so I'm gonna make mine smaller so that it holds my set nice and snug and in place. So I'm gonna just turn this over, cut it up the back, and then I'm gonna take some glue and I'm gonna glue it at this end and on this end. And I'm just gonna overlap it, making sure the ends go to about the creases of where I bent it originally and I'm just gonna hold that in place. That should make it small enough to mostly hold a knife, a fork, and a spoon together in a paper napkin. All right, next I'm gonna bring in some jute twine. This is a really easy idea. You can make this as intricate, again, like I said, as intricate or as basic as you want. But this one I feel like is a really basic idea just want to glue some twine on the back. I don't go in with my thumb right off the bat. I wait for it to kind of cool a little bit. And then I just start wrapping. The ends of the front I want to kind of glue in place so that they don't fall off the edge. I don't want it to fall off the edge and I also don't want to not cover the entire piece of cardboard. So then we'll just continue to wrap until the whole thing is wrapped. You can overlap. When we get close to this side, we're also gonna glue this in place. And then we'll fill in the rest. Once that's all wrapped, I'm just going to cut the end, glue it down, 
And then you'll see I have kind of a flat base right here and then a rounded top. So the flat base is what's gonna go on the table and the rounded part is gonna be what's showing. So with this one, again, this is simple as just tying a piece of jute twine around your stem that you find in your yard or somewhere just out and about and you just glue it in place. So I'm just gonna take a little dot of glue, glue it in the center, and then hold that in place till it sets. Make sure when you bring some stems in from the outside that you wipe it down really good or rinse it, kind of wash it, so that there's no bugs that are brought in. You don't want that on your dinner table for sure. So once that's done, you're just gonna take your silverware, a napkin. I know napkins are different shapes, but this one's sort of a rectangular napkin. And it's what I happen to already have, so this is what we're using. But I'm just gonna fold it over, triangular. And I'll put my knife down, my fork, my spoon, and then I'm gonna bring up the bottom. And then I'm gonna fold it over. I'm even gonna kind of, I guess, cinch it up inside and then just start rolling. And just play around with it till you like the look of it. This one I'm going to take a piece of tape. Tape off the end to hold it in place. This is just, you know, magic scotch tape for gift wrap. Hold that in place. And then you just slip it onto your, your silver. And there you have it. Very pretty. I love it. The next one we're going to do is this one right here. And we're going to take our napkin ring, cut it up the middle. Again, I'm going to just glue the ends. So I'll glue that end and then glue this end and then just cinch it so that it's closed a little smaller. After that, I'm gonna take a six inch piece of scrapbook paper, six inch by one and a half, and then I'm just gonna glue it down gluing it down right here. And wrapping it around. And what hangs over, just cut that end off. So there's the base for that. Obviously you don't need a paper towel or toilet paper ring to hold this in place, but I just like it because it makes it stronger. It just reinforces it. After that, I'm just gonna take some ribbon, glue it down in place and put my little die cut on top of it. And that's simple as that as well. Kind of just go in different directions with the different ribbons. There doesn't have to really be any rhyme or reason to this. And you can use any color you want, any kind of ribbon. That you like. Once everything's in place, you just take a dab of glue through the center. And I think this time, I love this little turkey. I think he's so cute, but I have him on this other one. So I'm going to use this leaf this time. 
And that's simple as that. I think it turned out really cute. Okay, so let's take this one off. Slip this one in. This one I made a little snug, but we got it. Make sure to get all your glue off. That one turned out really cute too. Love it. Okay, very cute. Okay, next we're going to bring this one in. I've cut two six inch pieces of one and a half inch thick ribbon. All right, then I'll take the back. Again, the back is just a flat piece. I'll glue that down, wrap it around. I'll just overlap about a centimeter and then cut the remaining bit. Take my hot glue, glue that in place. Okay, again, that could just be left like that and it would be really cute. I'm just gonna add a little bow to mine. So I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna glue down the center and I'm just gonna fold it over and bunch up the inside of this little bow and hold it in place till it sets. I'm using wired ribbon so I can kind of fluff it back and shape it how I want to. But for now, I'm just sort of scrunching it up. Okay, same thing with the other side. Just put a dab of glue in the center. Kind of bunch it up to bring the center in a little bit. And just hold it in place till it sets and I'll fluff it up. Okay, same thing here. I'm just going to be sort of bunching it up like this. And this is about a three inch strip of ribbon and you probably don't even need that much, but I'm going to just place it on top, gather it in. and hold it in place until it sets. All right, then I'm gonna take some more hot glue and we're gonna gather the inside of our bow as we pull that little middle piece and tighten it give our bow more shape. Whoops. All right. Trim off any fabric or thread that frays. Hot glue the center. Lay that little bow down while you give it its final shape. So cute. You can use any color, any pattern, whatever ribbon you already have. I just go through all my scraps because I have so many. Okay, really cute. There's that. Now I'm just gonna take a little piece of paper, make my own little tag. I'm just gonna cut the corners off right here, sort of eyeballing it, so it might not be exact, but pretty close. And I'll bring my paper trimmer in it down to about, mm, I don't know, three and a quarter inches. Oh, I might even bring in my 
corner rounder. Round off the corners. I'll take my hole punch. Go in the center. I'll take a little bit of this twine. Thread that through. And I will just tie a bow. Kind of like that. All right. Now, beforehand, you can print or just use your own handwriting. I'm just going to write it. But I'm just going to write, I'm thankful for, just like this one here. Just to get your guests thinking. Again, you can just print it off if you want to use some different fonts. Take some hot glue, kind of glue it down in the corner here. And kind of press the tag in off to the side so it looks like it's kind of sticking out. Okay, last but not least, we've got this one. This one's done up quite a bit with just a bunch of fall florals, some washi tape, and I just basically glued a bunch of stuff together, and that's really easy. So. We're gonna bring in all of our stuff. I have some twine, I also have some raffia. And you just put it together until you're happy with it. All right, now I'm just gonna take my washi tape. I'm gonna lay it down on the back so that all my seams are in the back. And I'll wrap it around until it reaches the end. All right, this I'll probably wrap three times. All right, there's three. And I just rip it off in the back. Okay, so for this one, I took my largest pieces first. So this one, this one, this one right here, started with those. Okay, there we have it. It's quite a plethora of different fall things, but if you're not the minimalist, then this is a fun way to go. I just don't think you can go wrong with anything you do. It's just fun. I just love it. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I thought that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed doing things like this. Let me know if you're gonna do something like this for your fall table or your Thanksgiving table. I'd love to see your ideas as well. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with people you know would do something like this. And stay tuned on Thursdays when I upload new videos and share more of my creations with you. Have a good one and we'll see you in the next one.